Hey everybody, prepared wander back, back in the woods. And uh, it's been a while since I shot a video. I had to take a little time off for some surgery, but I'm back now. And today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at what I consider a, a necessity when I go camping is having a good camp knife. And what do I mean by camp knife? Well, I'm gonna show you, so stick around. A camp knife, uh, to me, um, is what some people also call a scout knife. It's kind of a common term for this style of blade. And it's basically what it is, is it's, it's a knife that uh, predates Leatherman tools. It's a multi-purpose uh, knife that has multiple tools on it uh, that you use around camp. And the one we're gonna look at today is something I just got in the mail. This is the Rough Rider Camp King. And this thing is phenomenal for the price. And if you are on a budget and you're looking for a really sturdy, stout uh, camp knife, scout knife to go bushcrafting with, go camping with, this guy is it. Um, I've, I have many, many of these types of knives in my collection, from old ones to new ones, Swiss Army knives, all kinds of different styles. And this uh, really has stood out to me as an exceptional value with just the right amount of tools. So here it is. This knife, believe it or not, is in the $20 to $25 range with shipping. Um, I bought mine through Smoky Mountain Knife Works, a great knife company down in Tennessee, and uh, ordered it up from them, had it here in a few days. And if you're unfamiliar with Rough Rider, the brand is an overseas manufacturer. I believe they're made in China. Uh, but their quality is really on par and up to snuff with some knives like Case. And I know that's going to ruffle some feathers of knife collectors, guys who are spending $60 to $100 on a knife. Well, let me tell you, for $20, bucks, you can get a knife that uh, equals that, uh, that standard of manufacture. And you can just, I mean, just looking at it, you can tell that the materials are top-notch. There's brass liners in this thing. There's a bone handle that's been carved. 440 stainless steel blade. Another impressive uh, feature of this knife is that it has half stops. So the blade will come out of the handle, stop halfway, and then, then you press it to go further all the way. So that half stops are just a nice feature in a knife. Um, and usually more expensive knives like uh, Great Eastern Cutlery and and brands like that do half stops in their knives, so Rough Rider's been doing it on theirs lately, and I think it's a, it's a definitely a nice um, upgrade. Now, what I want to talk about uh, with this blade is the tools. Is the tools that come on this thing? This is what makes it a scout knife or a camp knife. Is the tools, and these are the tools that I use the most while I'm camping and I really not don't need much more than this um, if I'm lucky so the first thing we're gonna have is you're gonna have a good can opener and there's that half stop that I'm talking about see it stops right there and then I can continually open it. But a good can opener, you never know when you're going to have a can of beans or beef stew or something within camp. You're going to need that. So, a nice can opener is definitely um, a great feature. Second tool is a cap lifter. And this one has a nice long pronounced bill to it so that actually serves double purpose this is also a screwdriver and a screwdriver is actually pretty useful for me because I'm doing a lot of photography I'm always tightening tripods and, and camera gear and stuff like that so having that screwdriver is does come in handy and then of course a good a good bottle opener is definitely a great tool and of course a main blade you can carve with 
this is definitely the optimal shape for carving it's just a nice uh, nice pronounced shape um, easy to handle uh, also great for slicing meat cheese things like that breads um, just makes it an all a great all-purpose blade style for a camp knife And last but not least is the awl. Some call it a reamer. I call this an awl or a scraper. Uh, definitely nice for punching holes in leather and materials. But the reason that I like these on my camp knife is one reason only, and that's because I use it for igniting my fire steel. And I'm going to show that to you here in a second. So I like to use a um, I like to use the awl for striking my fire steel. It makes a great tool. That way I don't have to carry an extra striker with me. See, so that sharp edge on that one side makes a great fire steel striker. Of course, one thing people are going to ask is how sharp is it? Well, out of the box, uh, mine came razor sharp. Certainly good enough to do any kind of camp carving skills that you need. I love this bail on it. I think that's just an added bonus. That way I can attach a tether to it, clip that to my belt so I don't lose this while I'm out in the field. So it definitely works. If you're looking for a good quality camp knife, something that's not going to break the bank, then this is definitely it. This is the Rough Rider Camp King, and I definitely endorse this brand. Awesome knife. Plan to carry this for years. And because of the price, if I lose it, it's not a big deal. I can go out and buy another one, and um, go out and buy another one, and it's not a big deal. So it's a win win. All right, so. As always, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next time on the Prepare to Wander. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to the Facebook uh, group. Uh, links down below. There's also other links to the Amazon page. Check that out, as well as selling some patches if you need those. Links are down below for that. Um, as always, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.